Edward. <laughs> Both. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Team whoever knocks on the door first. <laughs> <laughs> it is the end of an era for Twilight fans. Tons of them spent the night in long lines to see the last movie of the series first. So teenagers everywhere are on Twitter and they're calling the last Twilight movie amazing and genius and brilliant. And as young people do, like to overspeak with stuff, the best ever, ever, ever mystery movie phone, Russ Leatherman. <laughs> Give us some balance here, would ya? It's not just teenage girls, it's weird 40-year-old women, too. I'm just saying. It's, kind of, it's a broad audience for these Twilight movies. Hey, uh, now don't be hating. People love them. And no, you know, what is this, no, like the fifth or sixth I, one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no I, I love them, and they've got, and it's got a huge fan base. This movie's going to be hugely successful. Uh, it is the final, final Twilight, Breaking Dawn Part Two. And as you know, Bella's a vampire now, and she has a vampire baby. Well, I have vampire baby, and the Volturi, they don't like that, so they're coming after Edward. They're coming after her because they're trying to get rid of that baby. So the vampires have to come together to try to save them. Here is the deal. These movies have never been great. They've barely ever really even been good. But that doesn't matter to the fans, to the Twihards, because they love this franchise. So for them, it's great. For us, it's over. And for that, I'm in. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, Very so Silver right? Linings Playbook. Let me just say that Silver Linings Playbook, if you want to come back to me on camera, um, the headline for many people is going to be that Bradley Cooper is in it. Chris Tucker's in there, too. And um, so this is, is it funny? Is it a romantic comedy? How would you describe it? Is it sad? It's all those things. It, well, it's, it's all of those things. And Jennifer Lawrence is in it, too. It's about a guy who lost his wife, who ended up in a mental institution, lost his house, ending up living back with his parents, one played by Robert De Niro, uh, who's really desperately trying to get back with his wife and, and meets a, a young woman by, uh, played by Jennifer Lawrence who really sort of sweeps him off his feet. I will say this is going to be an early Oscar contender. Wow. We've never seen we've never seen Bradley Cooper, I don't think, have the opportunity to really show his acting chops. He does here. I think Jennifer Lawrence could very well get a Best Actress nomination, and I realize it's kind of early to be talking about Oscars, but this is when we get those really great little Oscar movies. And, and like you said, Robin, this is sad, it's funny, it's romantic, it's got all of the great things for it. So go check out Silver Linings Playbook. You're going to love it. I like the previews already. I mean, just the little clip right there. Hey, thank you for the, the bug in our ear about what to go watch. Appreciate it. Bye, Robin. He's all smiley. Do you like my glasses? Do I make you blush? I love them. <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh, look at we're brother and sister. It's Donnie and Marie with glasses.